Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Four Rooms from Mostly Human. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. I've tried to make something more demanding on your little grey cells. Use F6 often. I hope you enjoy. Feedback, as always, invited. Added some elbow room to place the reflection cube, and there is a way back in case you destroy it. Thanks again to Bullfrog. So this was a request from Bullfrog himself, and... Um, Sorry, I can get rid of that. Thank you. Uh, the actual sub uh, request said, um, this is not that brilliant a puzzle, but even though you obviously can't see, the improvement from version 1 to this version is what impressed me the most, uh, and it is worth a play. So, um, yeah. They are the notes. Without further ado, let's jump in, shall we? Okay, interesting. So cube's gonna get us across to there. Okay. Interesting that a reflection cube is for that. Okay. The world's longest ant line, but um I can kind of understand why you did it as like an ant line instead. Is it permanent? Okay. It is permanent. Alright, so I'm going to leave that there. Hey, cube. I'm going to keep a portal when I go down here this time. I just have a thing about. Um... Oh, yeah, about that. I just have a thing about. Uh... La, 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 la. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, things that are on like pedestal buttons that are activate only once, like that lasers. I don't really, if I'm honest, I don't particularly see the point um, in doing that. If all you need the player to do is just to walk to a pedestal button and turn something off, then there doesn't really seem like there's much use for the pedestal button. But okay, so that's the way back. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Let's bring this across here. Okay. We have a return path. Square. Oh, hello. Hello, tree coal. Oh. Alright, so. I see. Said the blind man. So, what we're going to want to do here is place the laser cube on this button, angle that towards there, and then point the laser at the ceiling. So yeah, something a little bit like that. I don't know where square is at the minute. I have a hunch though that square is possibly this dropper here, which because it's recessed we can't actually see the uh, signage for it. So that's how we do that anyway. Um, let's just leave everything like there like that for now and we'll go through to this section. However, there's, uh, there's not a lot happening here until we disable these fizzlers. So, do need to get that first. Now I'm thinking, possibly. I 
Let's need to get that central. There we go. Okay, we have the edgeless safety cube. So now I can bring the laser through at least. And okay, I want everything through. So I instantly I think I could do this. However, that loses the laser and it also shuts off these parts here. So that means I can't get through So I would need to get through here. So what I think I want to do instead, I almost want to I think I kind of want to remove Yeah, this is I think that's what I want to do. So I'll take this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall this laser redirection cube from outside here. Which will then allow me to... You see, I can't go around because there's a there's a fizzler at the top, right? Yeah, there we go. So I can do that, but then I lose my portals. Oh, wait a s Oh, no. I thought that was for... Um, I thought that was opening the fizzlers, the antlines, but then I forgot there was the pedestal button which turned on the... Um, the laser in the first instance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of a... <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of a weird one. How do I progress from here? There's a second set of stuff as well. Jeez. Um, hmm. <laughs> I 
let's reverse it a little bit. Please. To this. Well, that really didn't help, did it? Jeez. You come over here with me. I'm back on this button, please. Thank you very much. So, yeah, how do I... Am I overthinking this, or...? I need all three things, right? Total and utter chaos. Genuinely, I don't know. Let's put everything back on the buttons. Yeah, we're standing there. We shoot a pull on there. Come across to here. confused. I don't know what to do, where to go, etc, etc, etc. It's getting the laser cube back. I don't see a way to... I've got to be missing something obvious here. If I can get rid of that portal there. Is that all that matters, though? Maybe that's all that matters. Okay. I think I got it, actually. Damn me and my no clip. Alright, so let's go back to... This. So we have this, right? And then let's pretend this isn't here. Because that's why I didn't want to happen. Alright, pull that there. So we're back at this scenario here where we just come through here with a cube on there before we'd even respawn this. So. 
What we're probably going to want to do is do this. Bring the cube round. Oh my goodness, this was so simple. Now I can take everything through. I are doofus. Okay. We are going to save right there. So now I'm going to assume we don't want the laser. And I'm guessing this is potentially all gated. No. Oh. Hello. Nice to see you. So, I'm going to do this. And we're going to take this back over to here. And then we're going to grab this one. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's my fault. Try this again, shall we? Rather than cheating, we're going to walk nicely. Pick it straight up. There we go. Okay, now, interesting. This could drop me a cube, isn't it? Okay. And then I think... I'm right, we're going to cube swap this. Take it through to here. It's going to point to here. This goes to here. And for the grand finale. Alright, well, it was a bit... I, I think there are too many elements involved, definitely. But I can see that you've tried to incorporate reusability and um, object management as well, because... So you've got to try and think uh, think about which cubes you're going to take and, and put where at what time. Um, so yeah, um, obviously I didn't see the original versions, but it seems like you've taken a lot of feedback from Bullfrog and improved the map greatly. So um, yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah, I just think there's, there's probably be a few too many elements in this one. Um, yeah, I got massively stuck over there on that bit for uh, ages, but uh, after that, it was pretty plain sailing. Um, rather linear as well. Um, like I say about the pedestal thing, I think you could probably just lose the pedestal button for this laser. It doesn't really serve any purpose at all. Um, but yeah, other than that, really nothing else to add. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave in the comments or head to my Google form. I'll link to that soon in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.